We're more than a month into the job, and Vikings head coach Kevin O'Connell is already leaving his mark on the new team. O'Connell and GM Gracie Adolfo Mensa continuing to put together what they hope will be a Super Bowl winning team. Don Mitchell is live at team headquarters tonight. And Don, you sat down with Coach O'Connell one on one. How's he feeling so far? You know, I think life has been crazy and pressure packed, but he's enjoying it. And he still has that smile on his face that we saw from day one. But you are absolutely right, Kelsey and Randy. He's been busy signing players, getting ready for the draft, and then some. He wants to build a Super Bowl winning team right here in Minnesota. But it all started off with Kirk Cousins. So I had to ask him, what was the most important piece of the puzzle and why Kirk first and foremost? I think it's important, I, you know, having, having uh, a, a bit coached in places before where, uh, you know, maybe you thought, do we really have our guy? Do we have a quarterback that can take us to where we want to go? And I think the one thing that always resonates with me about Kirk is he's played uh, incredibly consistent over the course of his career. He's been incredibly durable. He's out there in the huddle leading his group. Uh, and now I really feel like getting a chance to coach him, getting a chance to be around him for a second time, um, that he's ready to take the next step as a quarterback. And you know, on the other side, you get Zadarius Smith, and I think the, the whole city, you know, Twin Cities, were like, what? Yeah. This is great. How important was it to get another big name on defense, a big guy, too? Yeah, exactly. I think the, the, what, what Kwesi and I first sat down and started talking about, about building this year's version of our team, um, was clearly uh, being able to affect the quarterback mm -hmm. defensively. Uh, once we knew we would have a good chance to, to have Daniil Hunter here, and, and, and I have a, a very strong beliefs that, that he's going to be right back where he's been as far as being a nightmare for offenses <laughs> to deal with, um, especially with the type of support we're going to put around him, and then to pair him with a guy like Zadarius Smith, who's uh, you know coming off of kind of a similar year. You know, mm -hmm. he. He missed some time with an injury, and, and, and we feel strongly that he's recovered from that. He was able to come back and, and, and in the playoffs, you know, make a big, big time sack on a third down to end a drive, and that's what he does. He's, he's a, he's a game-changing type rusher, and when you pair him with another one of those guys, uh, I know if I was coaching against us, I would want to avoid those kind of known passing downs where uh, those two guys will know that we're throwing it. Uh, know that they can go meet at the quarterback, as the Darius likes to say. How about the people that say this is Rams 2.0? Well, it can't be because you're already in purple, right? right? The personnel is different. But w what does Kevin O'Connell bring that's going to be unique to you? Like, what do people not know about you that this is going to be the stamp in your thumbprint on this organization? Yeah, I think that's a great question because um, it would be incredibly, you know, naive of me to come here uh, and not really, you know, re you know, rely on a lot of my experiences, both as a player and coach. But uh, the number one influence that I have in coaching is Sean McVay and, and what we were able to do there uh, because I was, ab was able to be a part of it. So Kevin really wants to take what he learned from the Rams, obviously, and blend it into what he has with his Vikings. So consider it like a fine wine, Kelsey and Randy. And it wasn't lost on him that we were in the Vikings Museum and Bud Grant Way was right next to us. And he was loving the tradition, loving the history, and also knows that if he can bring a Super Bowl here, he will solidify his spot right here in the museum. So it's not lost on him, but he also knows he has a lot of work to do. We will have much more with Kevin O'Connell with the sit down coming up on Sports Now this weekend, but this is just scratching the surface. He's got a lot to do and has a lot to say. So looking forward to what he can do right here in yeah. purple. Yeah. Back and to you. He's getting acquainted with the past. Right, a lot, of, a lot of decades between those two coaches. So he's got time. Yeah. He's got time.